Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail, and I'm glad that you're here to craft with me as I go on with my ring-bound sewing journal. I've got a few things that I'm going to show you that I'm doing today. Okay, I'm going to start with, we made the cover a couple of um, videos ago, so I'm going to start with putting my name, or the book this book belongs to in here. And I found the title page from this book that I had bought. It's a small needlework book and I, I'm using that in some of the um, journal cards and things. So I'm going to put stamp on here and then I'll, I'll glue it onto here. I didn't want to try to stamp on right here because of all this stuff on here. Although putting it on something soft would have helped. But I'm going to try um, my stamp. I'll just do it on here first. Yeah, that will. Uh, gotta get enough ink on it that it makes a nice clear. There we go. And now I'm gonna do it on here. Wish me luck. Perfect. Okay, and then I can glue that onto the inside of the, the book like this. All right, now the next page I had was this one, and I went ahead and made a couple of journal cards. Just uh, this one I, I made a long time ago using a, an idea from Patricia Viramontes, and this is just from Pinterest, and I backed them and stitched around, and those are what's going to go in this belly band. And then on this side, I had done um, a couple little note cards, but I didn't hadn't stitched them on, so I I did that. I well, I did this one, just put a little bit on it, and those go. One goes behind. Oh no, I guess I had them both in here. They could go in there. All right, and then this was the page that went with that. And on this side, I made this one, and I said I would put show you the safety pin topper. So what I did is I took a little piece of fabric, and I put a safety pin on that I had used a little um, patina on, and I uh, just stuck a little tiny bit of glue in there to hold that in there. And now I'm going to... Put this on, put this away, get it out of my way. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac on here. Got it in my icing uh, bottle. And I'm going to kind of put this on so that that paper clip is right across the top and then I'll let that dry but that'll go right in in here and I don't want to put it in yet because I think there might be a little glue sticking out there so we'll just do that and then I finished up sewing these other cards that I backed and put a little ribbon on. And those are what are going to go into this pocket. Okay. I'll just sort of stick it in, stick them in like that. And then I have a new page. And I'm going to use some some of these things that I um, picked up, you know, like at thrift stores and things like that, to make little po pockets or tucks. This one I'm going to make into a little tuck, and so I'm going to um, take my glue just along two edges. 
I'm going to put it kind of like over here so that I have space to put in. Okay, and then I'm going to put one of these. Oops, these little crocheted flowers that my sister in law Mary Lou made for me on here, and a little button. This page is all yellow and blue. And that is going to get these two cards that I made and backed with coffee dyed paper and those will be going into here. I'll put them in the rest of the way when it's when it's dry. That's the next page. Okay, so this one I found these pins. And I just thought that they were kind of cool that I could use them to make a pocket. And this was a rusty little clip here, so it's kind of like a little tab to pull it open. And I thought I would um, put a little bit of decoration on here. See if I can find it. So I have a little snippet piece that I had left over from, from something else. Here's the paper part. That was like what I cut off the top of, of the first belly band. So I'm just going to put that on here. And let's see. I think I have this to go on top of that. Looks like an old top of a thread. A spool of thread. Okay. And I have this little image from Pinterest that I'm going to put on here. I'm just going to glue that on. Right down here. So it's inside the fold. And then I have this little DMC piece that came off some floss with the number of whatever the color was on it and I'm just going to put that on here. Okay, so that'll look like that. And then I'm going to put some glue along these three sides. And that's going to be my pocket. On here, so I'm going to put it over kind of as far as it'll go and still be on the paper. There we go. And I have these little journal cards that I made that are going to go into here. This one will actually go this way, but I've got to let it dry. And I have this little piece too that I took off an old piece of seam binding and I'm going to put that in there so you have a little spot to journal on the back. Oh, I hope I've been in frame. I'm just looking here and I maybe was a little bit out with that so I hope I did the rest in frame. I have to look because I can't do it again. I've already got everything glued in. So the next page will be uh, this one starting. And I'll do that in the next video. So thanks for crafting or looking at what I'm doing, I guess. And uh, um, I'll do the next page set up in the next video. Thank you for being with me. And if you're not subscribed, please do. And, and hit the like button to help my, me grow my channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.